this is John with the Scotch Life coming to you from the back porch. Today we're going to smoke a cigar that was actually developed uh, by La Aurora and it's the Taira Hapon or the Port Japan cigar. And it's just going to take a minute here, uh, light this up, talk about the basics of lighting a cigar and enjoying a cigar from just an enthusiast standpoint. I'm not an expert, but this is just kind of a basic, how do you smoke a cigar? Alright, so uh, this is a rather medium size uh, cigar. Um, like a Robusto size. I always get them confused, but that's basically that size. Um, a medium kind of a ring gauge, not a huge ring gauge. Uh, it's kind of a medium size. So you can get cutters, all kinds of cutters. Uh, this is a very cheap one. Um, got this one actually from Havana Connections, which is a good cigar store. Uh, they got a few locations in the Virginia area. Um, I typically will pick up a cutter when I buy cigars uh, and just leave them everywhere in bags, in my cars, offices, because if you don't have a cutter, um, it's frustrating. It seems like you can find fire, but finding a good cutter sometimes is a hard thing to do. So uh, it depends on the cigar how much you're going to cut off, but typically you're just trying to take off the, the cap here. There's a little piece of a leaf called a cap. And so basically you're just trying to match that up. You can see that. See I'm not putting this whole thing in. I'm not taking the whole last off of it. Um, I'm just going to basically try to shave the back off of it. You can see, got the cap there, the cap came off. You can see that. Um, and then I have kind of a rough cut there, but it's going to work just fine. The draw is very nice on this. Um, I wish I could tell you more about this cigar. Uh, I believe it was developed for the benefit of the people of Japan, some profits, etc. And I know I've read about it, but it's kind of one of these things I read about so much that I lose it. So, uh, but La Aurora, great cigar company. Their cigars are uh, amongst the best in the industry. And uh, anyway, so there's the cut. And I would recommend a wood match or a quality lighter. It's not on me right now. It's good. Um, so cutters come in different sizes too. You can see different gauges. This is a much nicer cutter. Uh, more substantial blades. A good quality. Very nice. You should have one of these. Uh, this is obviously for like a 60 gauge cigar. A lot large cigar. It can handle anything. And then uh, really cheaper ones tend to go towards more of the smaller gauge cigars. Anyway, so you'll find all types. Some really expensive ones out there. For lighting cigars, I would go with uh, stick matches. Stick matches are great. Um, I prefer the longer ones if you can get them uh, because you inevitably get kind of hot here and usually have to use a couple of matches. Uh, I've seen David off boxes and it's really nice length. Uh, also, um, these are this was a cheap uh, uh, gas lighter and it's uh, I don't know if it's propane. It's, you'll see them are refillable. It's a very clean gas and when you turn it on, you can't even see that flame. It's very hot and it's very uh, odorless. Uh, a Zippo lighter, which is great, I have a Zippo lighter, uh, but it does tend to transfer a little flavor of the uh, um, lighter fluid. So if you can get past that, I can. So uh, if you're using uh, a torch type lighter, uh, I've seen lots of people do it different ways. Um, I kind of go, I like the advice of trying not to touch the tip of the cigar with the flame and just kind of uh, keeping it some distance there. You probably can't even see this, but you can see the smoke's rising. I like to toast uh, the foot of it a little bit. 
to start getting it uh, going, kind of like caramelizing sugar in a pan. A pan. see the red you really see more of the white right now uh, lower light you can see the red you can see the red there if you blow on it kind of see where your embers are if you will the red parts and then you'll kind of know where you need to touch up and you want a nice clean burn um, don't get overly worried about it if it's kind of uneven. Most good cigars tend to catch up and uh, even out their burns to really good cigars. Wow, really nice taste on this one. Um, take a few puffs just to get the, get the air through, get, the, get it hot, get that even burn going. Once you got that going in a good quality cigar that's been humidified uh, at a proper humidity, it's not dried out or uh, overly wet, um, it's almost on cruise control. Now you're going to take a draw on the cigar about every 35 seconds or so. Um, and different cigars vary on their burn rate. Uh, but this one uh, is already smoking quite nice. And you'll notice that the ash, how this one's turning to a white ash. Uh, the, from what I understand, that means it's a high quality leaf. If you get a ash that turns a lot of dark, it's dark on the end and not white like this, then you're dealing with an inferior leaf. So that might be something you want to look out for while you're smoking your cigar. This has a very nice little woody uh, taste. I like a little wood taste to my uh, cigars. Um, I like a little spice too. This has a little bit on it. This is a nice medium rounded cigar. Uh, when you go to buy cigars, there's all kinds of different ones. And they go from light to medium to full. And there's a lot of large uh, category called medium to full cigars. Um, I tend to go with the medium to medium to full cigars. Uh, that's what just my taste, my palate, that's what it likes. Um, so that's something you're going to have to experiment with. You're going to have to go with those uh, lighter cigars. You can't always look at the wrapper and say, oh, that's a heavy cigar or that's a light cigar. Wrappers can be deceiving, actually. So you might want to be careful on that one. Uh, it's best to go to a tobacco, to a tobacco store, get some good advice. Uh, you might have to go to a couple of cigar stores to find a good tobacconist. You'll kind of know when you're talking to them. Either they'll be very full of information, a wealth of information, and give you some unbiased opinion uh, if you just talk to someone and they only have a couple of brands or something or they just tell you oh you want to try this brand and they're trying to push you towards something kind of a sales technique um, if someone is really more interested in selling a particular type of cigar than actually trying to find something that you're going to enjoy a good tobacconist should educate you and give you a few different cigars to try so that they can find which one pleases your palate the best so find a good one um, it depends on your area. Uh, you just have to search around and look for some reviews. Um, anyway, so that's been uh, the basics of uh, just cutting a cigar and lighting a cigar. Maybe a couple of things you want to look for. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.